Hello everybody, Rusty Ground here. Welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. We are currently in the lower city. We destroyed basically a building. The the what's it called? What is this building exactly? The Felogears Fireworks. Yeah, there we go. We destroyed it last time. And uh, <laughs> after looting everything, we now need to inspect what's in the basement. Right. That's what we said we're going to do. Yeah. Let's just close the doors here, just to make sure that uh, we don't have any... Okay. No, I think we're good. Yeah, I think we're good too, because I'm looking at the hatch here, and when I click the hatch... Oh! You can unlock it? Apparently... Yeah. Okay. We don't, we don't have the, wait, don't have the key, to... apparently. Yeah, what? Let's come around here, let's have a better look. This is not... What? But didn't we get like a, I thought? Oh no! I thought we get a, we got a key from the. Well, technically we got a bunch of keys, but yeah. Okay. Let me have another look at the this upper floor. Well, this is if not all. We'll, um, hopefully, we'll be able to unlock it. Yeah. Uh, Pop tricks. What are those? Here. Yeah, they're just fireworks, all kinds of fireworks. I don't know if they're actually useful. Send a small rocket at a foe, blasting the target and inflicting color spray. Does 3d6 yeah. fire damage. I mean, yep. it's not bad. <clears throat> oh, found a dude who didn't loot. Oh, okay. Has a lot of keys on him and a letter. Oh. That says, my dear fellow Avery. We have done well so far, but do allow the production of smoke powder to flag. Uh, no one will question a firework shortage in case of a crisis. Never fear, my friend, I'll take personal interest in your shop to cover any lost income. My sincerest wishes for your success. Signed, G. GGG, Gortash. <laughs> okay, oh, the hatch is still locked. Had, uh, oh. yep. uh, uh, Parasite on him. So oh, it's the. I think it's the vent. It's the main guy, the vendor. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There we go. I used the key from you, and we got to the basement. Okay. I'm here. Okay. Double doors. Squidgens. What is a squidgen? It's another firework. Okay. Let me just uh, give me one second. Let me just go through here and see if uh, there's anything. Yeah, 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 yeah. You found it. Oh wow! Yeah. Want to try that again? <laughs> well, I mean, um, <laughs> sure. <laughs> it was nice that you you wanted to be careful. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> then just stepped on it. Okay. Well, I haven't uh, I haven't saved since we started, so. Anyway, so we just need to <clears throat> you just have to loot the guy again, and yeah. and hopefully we don't get into any trouble with you on your side. Okay, oh, I'm good. good. Are you good? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Was it the the guy yeah. over here? Yeah, I'm yeah. him now. Go for it. Reading this, I don't know if it needs to be open. I opened it, took everything, go, 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 and try not to step okay. on anything. Yeah, let's try here, let's do this, save it. <clears throat> and then slowly, trap. <laughs> there is a trap here. Oh, which... you need to jump over it. Yeah, yeah. disarm it if you want to. Well, is that a that's a door? Isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's definitely a, a door, and it's trapped apparently, which is great. Okay, I can't disarm that one. Yeah, because it's from the other side probably, or we need to find the lever or something. Um, what an archduke's leadership protection. What? A pamphlet by the Gortash for Archduke Voluntary Campaign. As Archduke, Lord Gortash's top priority will be protection, the physical defense of Baldur's Gate and its citizens. No policy can be more important. Hmm, sure. Okay, anything else? 
<clears throat> there is a locked chest. There's a pouch there. Maybe there's something good in it. A locked chest. Uh, okay, so I need to come there. Yeah. And I think I found a lever. There we go. I found a lever. Do you need guidance? Uh, sure, why not? Second. I need, but, uh... Yeah. Assume nothing. Yeah. Hmm. Come on. Block it. Oh. Repositioning. No, just some gold and some torches. Still alive. Okay. So that's progress. Okay. Uh, let me bring trap. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Whoa, that's a lot of smoke barrel. Smoke what? powder, sorry, barrels. Should we take them? Well, they're barrels. I mean, yeah, sure. I think Carlac could. You uh, hold on a second. On uh, yeah, go for it. But I think they they might be super heavy, right? Twenty six. Mm. Okay. I can carry a few though. It's fine. Or you can move them to camp, and we, if you want to have one or two, and we can use them. Yeah. I don't know. And, uh, yeah, she's encumbered now. Yeah, I'll take a few, <clears> and I'll, I don't think I'll just keep one on me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, so send to camp. Because I think you can actually throw it in combat with uh, with Carlac's strength. Yeah, well, it says it's a 44 plus 18 damage, and it probably explodes if you shoot it, or depending on what you throw. Of course, at. yeah, yeah. To camp. Okay. That one. If not over, I think then that's through. it here. Make sure you jump over. <laughs> Yeah. I think that's it. Okay. If you can come Let's over to that. my side here and what? open the door, the double door here, should be good. I've got a long road ahead. Mm -hmm. okay. You're good. Now let's see where this leads. You're going in with Carlac? No, no, I'm going with both, but. Uh, okay. I think we're outside. Yeah, we're outside. Uh, Okay, right. so we are. What? Yeah. Yeah, so it is the door that we were thinking yeah. it would lead to the hatch, but there wasn't a way to open it without. Okay. People seeing us. <clears throat> right. Let's see. What else do we have here? Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Find the find the Mystic Carrion's servant. Oh yes, the the guy that we spoke to in the house. Um. Oh, so I think we should go back. So we have the Wizard of Waterdeep meet with Mistra for Gale. Yeah. And then we have investigate the murders and then visit the Emperor's old hideout. Those yeah. three are so we, you know, we, we started with visit the emperor's old hideout, and then we said, oh, let's uh, take a little detour, blah blah blah, yeah. and then we ended up doing all of these things. <laughs> no, because we entered, we entered like a sewer or something, because that's <clears> the <throat> way we ended up here, right? Yes, exactly, exactly. Yeah. So, should we go to the murder target, Frank, or do you want to go to the Wizard of Waterdeep and that? No, I would do the Wizard of Waterdeep in order to do the investigate the murders, because I, I don't want to go to other. Uh, murder victims without doing the investigate the murders first because I think that's I, I okay think so that's we, we go to the basilisk gate and then I yeah. need to bring I'm assuming I need to bring Gale with me yeah yeah yeah, so, the, yeah, yeah let me part. just uh, take him now we only have one more uh, rest short rest just so you know okay. I mean I have one more short rest and as as my feet can carry me okay 
Well, Lazel, I'm sorry. I have to uh, let you Dame go. Dame has little to feel sorry about. The Roacan would have inflicted a far worse fate on her, given the chance. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, hold on. I have some um, dialogue if you want to listen in. Okay. Yeah. Why does Elminster have such faith in you? I've often asked myself the same question. I never really found a satisfactory answer. He clearly sees something in me that I can't. The wisdom and intelligence required to overcome almost insurmountable odds, perhaps? All the stupidity required to attempt it. I take it as a compliment either way. You don't get to be 13 centuries old without becoming a sound judge of character. And cheese, apparently. Okay. Do you regret not using the orb when you had the chance? I regret many things in chance, my life. <laughs> Choosing to be here, intact and unexploded, is not one of them. For now, to have a few more days in your company, no. I wouldn't change a thing. Is he hitting on me or something? I don't know. I don't, can't tell. Uh, I'd like you to meet me. Oh, I'd like you to meet me at Mistra's shrine. We mm -hmm. should hear what she has to say. Yeah. Okay. And that's it. He's going that's like that. Okay. So we'll meet there. Okay. Uh, hmm. Sure. Okay. Okay, I'm just w weary of that we're gonna lose. Might we might lose Gale? <clears throat> I don't know. We'll see. So, where is the? Oh, this is the entrance. Is it? Yeah. What happened here? Hold on, hold on. I don't like this. I don't like the look in some of their eyes. What's going on here? Hold on, I'm talking to. Is unconscious. You won't be waking up anytime soon. There's an unconscious citizen here, and the guys are telling me, why aren't you taking her to a doctor? And I'm just trying These to see what's, what happened. These street trash need to watch their tone. I don't tolerate disrespect. Yeah, they're not going to talk to me. Okay, screw it. Right, is this the place? Um, yeah, okay. Vicar Tabernacle. Gale is over here. Statue of Mistra. Hold on. Let me let me talk to the vicar. I guess for a second. Let's see what yep. he has to say. A beam of morning sun enters. Be welcome, cleric of Lathander. You have come far, I perceive. How may I serve you this day? Hmm. I can feel my god's light shine brightly here. Why? Ha! That is no surprise, Holy One. You have entered the Stormshore Tabernacle. Here, clerics may commune with their gods, and even hear their responses, if they are so favored. I am also granted the power to provide holy resurrection through sales of revivification <laughs> scrolls. <laughs> okay. Right, and... Uh... Who are you? I am Vicar Humbletoes, guardian of the Stormshore Tabernacle. I keep the peace in this sacred place and guide those in need. And how did you know who I was? My purpose is to connect every soul with their divine patron. How could I do that if I couldn't distinguish what deities they serve? Okay. Are holy items available here for of purchase? Course, he my just child. said, yeah. Within limits. Behold my wares. Let me see what he has and then we're we're out of here. Ooh, hello. Hold on. The Sacred Star. Morning Star weapon. Radiant strike on a hit. Inflict one turn of radiating orb upon the target. Sanctified weapon. And dead creatures struck by this weapon are possibly turned. Okay, tenacity. When you miss an attack, you deal one bludgeoning damage anyway. Then we have a cape here. Mantle of the Holy Warrior, which gives a uh, power... Um, like a spell, an evocation spell called Crusader's Mantle. Radiate a holy power that emboldens nearby enemies. Their weapon attacks deal an additional 1d4 radiant damage. It's a 10 turn concentration spell. Okay. It's like a buff. 
And we have the revivifying hands, which I might get. Uh, when you deal, when you heal a creature, it gains the effect of Blade Ward. Hmm. One second. Blade Ward means it has resistance against bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage. When you revive a creature, it gains the effect of Death Ward. The next time the damage would reduce the affected entity to zero hit points, it remains conscious with one hit point left. And it gives you Revivify as a spell. I think I might take this one. <laughs> okay. Although my, my gloves are pretty good as well. Damn it. don't know. This is medium armor. My gloves don't say what type of armor they are. I'll take these ones anyway, <clears throat> and we'll see. And then this guy has scroll of hold monster, scroll of put it has a bunch of scrolls. Oh, and he also has a bunch of uh, superior healing potions and stuff like that. Should I get them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are good to have. So go. Okay, I got them all. Okay. Right. Um, okay. What? Which, which is your? Uh, Lathander is my. Shield our people from the depredations. Lathander the is not here. Politics. What? Bless them with the strength to endure. Wow, interesting. And the courage to resist. What happens if you click on the statue of the gods? What does that do? Hold on. Go ahead. This altar isn't dedicated to a single god, but instead acts as a conduit to many. Mm -hmm. Your god is one of many. And in this place, you sense a spark of its mighty, divine flame. As a cleric, you may sacrifice wealth to your deity and expect to receive a boon. Okay, read what is inscribed on the altar. Pay home homage and honor to the gods of light and justice. Seek the wisdom and judgment of the gods of balance and ambiguity. Seek the power of self-justification from the gods of greed and darkness. Read the inscribed... Hold on, I want to read the, the first okay. thing. That, read the it thing. It reads, Show <clears throat> your devotion with an offering in your god's name. Blessings may follow. Okay, pay your homage and honor to the gods of light and justice. The gods are ready to receive your joyful donation. It's going to be like a 5k thing, probably. No? What the... Jesus. Okay, hold on. Pick your... Uh... Lathander, yeah. God of vitality, hope, and blessings. Oh! You need to put something there. Hmm? It, yeah. So I, it, it, it opened my entire um, inventory. Inventory, and I'm, I'm actually my entire inventory, including yours. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, no, sorry. It's it, it my entire inventory, including everyone in the camp. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> and it just asks me for a donation. I don't know. Like, I only, I, I have on me uh, 2,000 gold. I don't know. Go with whatever you want. I'm looking around here, but I don't know if I can find uh, anything useful. I wonder what happens. Hold on. I'm going to save it here, and I'm, I'll, I want to see what happens if I give it 2,000 gold. Because it's not like I'm... Uh, it's not like we're, you know, money is not a, an issue necessarily. Donate the whole. Th the, I'll give it two thousand on the dot. Oh, I can donate even more if I want to. Mmm, sure. Can. Everything you can donate everything. Okay, let's do donate. Oh, it it wants more actually. So I think you need to give it more than 2,000 gold in order to get something. I'm telling you, it's probably going to be like a 5,000 stuff. One second, let me see here. Uh, psionic ward, if the item detects that the wearer is a... Let's do this. And... This. Now, can I do this? Donate. Oof! Oh, you're inspired. What happened? I gained one inspiration. That's it. Hmm. One second. I, I donated an armor piece that was that we're not using, basically. Yeah. 
Superior plate, you can take one less piercing damage. Yeah, we don't need this. When will it stop, though? Well, maybe it doesn't. You just get stuff. Maybe you don't only get inspiration, and you can just donate as much as you want to, and you get the inspiration every time. <clears throat> okay. One second. Sorry, give me, give me one second. I just want to... What is this? Uh, bracers, quick and hand mage. You can cast mage hand as a bonus action. No. The most expensive pieces are the... Um, the armor pieces. Let me see if I can donate all the junk that I have. <laughs> Basically. Why not? No. The problem is I, I have to donate one by one the items. And I think I might have... Uh, yeah. Okay, it doesn't allow me to donate anymore. So what now? So if I click this... The you've offered proves your piety and oh. devotion. Oh. You may now pray here once a day for a divine blessing. Oh. Beseech blessing from your deity. So I can pray here once a day now. Your soul opens to their divine power. Be of good cheer, for Lathander the Morning Lord so you blesses get? you with vigor One second, one second, sorry, it's still talking to me. In the dawn, the way is clear. Bless what did I get? Anointed in splendor. Affected in his deity has flooded its mind with ancient secrets, both benevolent and baleful. It has a plus to bonus to all saving throws. Wow. Forever. It's. Right? I think it's. Um, I think it's not forever. I think it's going to be once a day. But I can come back here and just pray once a day and get get, oh. get it back. Yeah. Or maybe you have to donate again once per day. But uh, yeah. we'll have to see yeah, if that's the case. Okay. Sure. I'll take it. Uh, what is your god? <laughs> I don't know. Didn't you choose a god? A god when you. Mm. I have no idea. Hold on, net storm. I chose with the warlock. I chose a. Uh, you chose a patron. A patron. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. The fiend. You chose the fiend, and the storm. You, you, you're a storm. You chose storm sorcery. Oh, maybe you don't choose a god. Maybe only the like clerics and the paladins and stuff like that choose a god. Yeah, yeah. Makes Let me sense. Let see if it says something because it says something to you. Oh. One of many. Divine protectors mm -hmm. of Baldur's Gate. Here but I, yeah. I, I'm guessing you can choose whoever. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be like your god. You choose whatever and you probably get a different... Bro, yeah, you're right. Yes, you are correct. Yeah. Uh, pay homage but and honor to the gods of light and justice. Seek the wisdom and judgment of the gods of balance and ambiguity. Gods of greed and darkness. Uh, yeah. Okay, so it's like a good, evil and neutral type of thing. Is it? Yes. Probably, yeah. Okay, let's go with... But you will have to make a donation. And the donation okay. will be quite large. Oh, you had the patron of bards here as well. Well, sure. Uh, Lady of Luck, God of War and Lord of Honorable Battle, Great Guide, Lord of the Dead, choose from another group of deities. Okay. Uh, greed the and darkness. The gods are ready Let's to see. receive your <laughs> sacrifice. Groom Shwanai, he who watches, god of the orcs. Yeah. Uh, Fury and destruction, chaos and avarice. Tiamat. Char, dark lady of loss and mistress of, of the course. night. Of course, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, okay, <clears throat> it's fine. Um, I would be interested, though, what would... Uh, Shadow Heart, do if she would, were to click on the statue of Saloon over here. <laughs> okay, you want me to bring her just to see? Uh, no, let's let's finish with this and maybe we'll do Okay, that yeah. So let's go with the Gale story. Are we talking to Gale? Yeah. 
Uh, or click there the... she stands, yeah. yeah, I know, I'm talking to Gail. Minster promised. Mistra, goddess of the weave, mother of all magic. The old man wasn't lying. It's a statue. She's opened the summoning channel. Can't Are you listening in? Oh, yeah. Okay. Gail's I, I don't right. feel it, though. The very yeah. air around the statue crackles with magic. It sets your teeth on edge. A stream of pure, undiluted weave. I only have to reach out, and it will carry me to Mistra, wherever she may be. Mm -hmm. Your goddess calls. Serve her or denounce her as you will, but you cannot ignore her. Time was, I'd have given my right arm for a chance to speak with Mistra again. <laughs> the left one, too. Maybe a knee. <laughs> I'm gonna save it here because I need to see what happens. We're gonna. I think I'm gonna go with you're ready for this gale. Okay. You don't owe her so much as a fingernail. She asks you for to blow yourself up. I don't think she's that kind of a goddess. She's that kind of goddess. Yeah. Yeah. Um, don't take hand or whatever. Yeah. You're, you're ready for this gale. Am I? You're right. I am a strong. Capable wizard. I'm by this is guess. no more than a don't casual know. reunion with an ex-lover. My omnipotent, omniscient ex-lover. Mm -hmm. I always wonder what being nervous would feel like. I hate it. Do you know what you're going to say to her? Of all the things to be nervous about, an audience with the goddess seems reasonable. Why do you care what she thinks of you? Pull it together, you're going to make a fool of yourself otherwise. Do you know what you're going to say to her? During my time locked away in Waterdeep, I prepared a quite comprehensive speech for her on the subject of our former relationship and the manner in which it ended. Alas, recent events have rendered the majority of it moot, so I'm going to have to improvise. Unless you have any words of wisdom to impart before I go. Oh, hmm. no. Um, oh, why do you you're care? not taking me with you. <laughs> yeah, why do you care what she thinks of you? It's one thing for us to actually pursue the crown. I'm not entirely sure I want to threaten Mistra with the prospect on her own turf, so to speak. I think it's best I keep a cool head going into this. Approach it like a particularly high-risk round of three dragon ante. I'll let Mistra show her flight, and then I can see how strong a chance we stand of winning the gambit. I'll only be gone for a matter of moments. The Outer Plains experience time quite differently to our own. Wait for me. Please. <laughs> okay. Gale of Waterdeep. You look well. As do you. But I assume we're not here solely to exchange compliments. So why am I here? You discovered what lies at the heart of the Absolute. The Crown of Causes. And you disobeyed my instruction. Why? Because you had no right to ask that of me. You cast me out. Remember? You were my lover. My chosen. Yet still you know so little of me. The past cannot be undone with self-pity. Mm -mm. Nor can a future be forged. Only with the truth will you see the way ahead. The fragment of magic you tried to return to me was not of my creation. It was the Carsite Weave. It what? is a corrupted, half-born magic wrought in the brief moment Carsus ascended to godhood. It hungers for power, just as he did, and it can never be sated. You unleashed something that would consume all magic in existence, and yet you thought only of preserving yourself. So that's what you're scared of. With the crown of Carsus reforged, I could take control of the Carsite Weave. You can no more control the Carsite Weave than a weather vane could control a storm. 
that it entered your body and consumed no more than your powers was a miracle. But we will not be granted another. The only reason the orb sleeps is because I have allowed it to feed on the true weave. A temporary measure, but one that will not be enough to save us. With each day that passes, the Elder Brain threatens to become a new kind of god. Its worshippers, a scourge of soulless illithids. If you will not use the orb to end this abomination, then you must find a way to separate crown and host. Mm -hmm. When you've <clears throat> done this, you must surrender the crown of Carsus to me. A great ask indeed. You've given me much to think on, as you always did. So be it. Follow the needle of your own wisdom. We shall see how truly it leads you. Okay. So, Gale. Uh, he wants to speak. Are you still here? Yeah. Okay, let's talk to him. The car sight weave. I had no idea. Do you realize what this means? The orb is no stray piece of ordinary magic. It is something entirely different. The nascent form of a new divine power. Of course, I couldn't control it. I was mortal. But once I reforge the crown, the power of a god will be mine to oh, command. Oh, man. The orb will answer to me. He's a little bit greedy. I'm not sure about all this. I thought the crown um, a simple artifact, but this car side weave sounds evil. Wielding enough power to destroy a city <clears throat> is like the... I like the sound of that. What are the chances Mistra smites you before you get the chance? <laughs> you really expect me to believe you had no idea about the orb's true nature? Hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yep. The this car side weave sounds evil. Evil is a reductive term. <laughs> of course. Too often used to dismiss choices the observer lacks the imagination to understand. Let me assure you. Carsight Weave has no more inherent evil to it than a, a child in the womb or an axe half forged on the blacksmith's anvil. It is a tool ready to be shaped by its wielder, by me. And you know me to be someone of reasonably sound moral judgment, don't you? Nope. Well, I actually don't know you. That's the problem. Are you forgetting how you came into possession of the Carsight Weave? Your good intentions could have detonated it. But they didn't. I always thought it was a miracle that I survived, but I'm starting to wonder if there was more to it. What if it chose me? Mm. It would make sense. Created by the powerful wizard, why not be drawn to another? No, until recently it was actively trying to kill you. I doubt it cares whose body it's in. <laughs> you think this is your destiny? You're turning coincidence into delusions of grandeur, Gale. Stop it. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I'm seeing. He disapproves, exactly of course. What's before my eyes? <clears throat> if you prefer to keep yours closed, that's up to you. Right. No, Gale, this one's far too dangerous. Carsus's magic will be destroyed. This is your decision to make, not mine. Fine, if you truly believe this is the path you're meant for, I'll support you. I'll help you ascend to godhood. No. <laughs> this is your decision to make, not mine. Th that's the one that I would go for. Okay. Well then, what more is there to discuss? Yeah, exactly. Go back to camp. <laughs> All we need to do is stay focused on the task at hand. Defeating that elder brain. After that, you can leave the rest to me. Yeah, all of a sudden I don't like Gale anymore. <laughs> I don't actually too... like Gale any, any... I don't know. I mean, yeah, we don't really know him, so yeah. Okay. Um, bring uh, Shadowheart? <laughs> yeah, go bring Shadowheart and let's see what she has to say. And then, uh, did we finish with... Uh, what's the next... Did we get an update? Yeah, so... 
Gil met with Mistra. She told him of the true nature of the orb. Uh, Mistra asked that Gil seize the crown and then return it to her. Yeah. Uh, claim the crown for him. He wants to claim the crown for himself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think we're done with his quest for now. Mm -hmm. Or maybe until we've destroyed the brain. Mistra has forsaken Gale entirely. So he can't stay blow. safely at camp. But he is strong enough to persevere, I think. Okay, join me. I join you, but things mm -hmm. are looking a tad crowded. will leave. Lead the way then. Okay, boom, and boom. Here. Yeah, yeah. One second. Uh, where is she? What am there I we to go. Do? And Got let's click up. on the thing. Should be interesting. <clears throat> Saluna. Uh oh. Had life turned out differently. I might have been kneeling in prayer here. Hmm. That's it? No, hold on. Feel the chill oh. gaze of the moon maiden upon you. Saluna welcomes you. Read that which is inscribed upon the altar. An inscription reads, Let all who worship the changing tides of life and knowledge feel the blessings of Saluna. Trust in the purity of my light. See the constancy in its inconstancy, and you will be guided aright. As a moon-bathed cleric, this is your moment to bask in her lunar light and imbue your spirit with her majesty and grace. Yeah, so I need to make an offering again. Yeah. <clears throat> and then something, she will give us something. But I don't know, like... I can try to make another offering, if you want, and see what we get. I don't know if I have enough, because I've spent all the money. <laughs> um, no, I think it's fine. I was hoping for more of a story than the... Well, I don't think so. I think this is just yeah. meant to give, like, a buff. You get the to... buff, yeah. Yeah. And I'm, I'm not convinced yet that it's a permanent buff, but we'll see after we do the next long rest. If you still have it on, no, you maybe I'll get something as well. This. Well, <clears> so I think... Yeah, I I don't think you, so. You think we might need to pay every okay. time we want to get yeah. the buff? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see after that. Uh, do you want to keep uh, Shadowheart for the next? So uh, where are we going now? To the um, tavern for the investigate the murders and the Emperor's old hideout. No, I want to. I want to go back. I want to take the Zel because um, <clears throat> I think the Emperor's old hideout is. Where we... we no, it's not. Where we find the Orphic Hammer. No, it, that's in Raphael's, uh, right? Yeah. Anyway, no, I'll, I'll bring Lazel. I haven't uh, had her in the party for quite a long time, so... He must give it to her when the time comes, or his lust for power might well consume him. Yeah, Lazel thinks uh, Gale should give the crown to his... Uh, <laughs> the party's full. You'll need to, to make room. Mistra. To Mistra, yeah. Yeah. Good. I'll... Okay. Let's do it. Ch -ch uh, let me just give her one or two um, potions. Did I buy the potions? Where are the potions? Potion of superior healing, right? Yeah. So, split. Um, send to Lisa. How many do you have uh, potions of superior healing? Potions of superior healing. Where are they? Greater healing. Vitality, superior healing. I have six. Okay. And Karlak, does she have any? She has. She has also six. Okay, cool. But this guy hmm. yeah. has six more to sell. Of superior healing. Of supreme healing. Which is... Wait, what did you ask of me? Superior. No, so there are... Su there are ones better. There's supreme healing. Which really? Which is 30 to 60 healing. Okay. Uh, so I'll buy those from him. Well, okay. Oops, I don't know what I, I gave him. Crap. <laughs> Give him something, but <clears throat> that's why. Yeah. Okay. 
Let's make our way. Should I buy the scrolls of Revivify? Mm, I don't think we need them. Okay. But yeah, I actually we know where they are, so I can need them as well. Okay, so. What is this guy doing here? Hold on. I'm talking to, uh, yeah. to a guy. You, you two must submit to Lord Gortash if you are to be saved. Okay. Mm. Right, sure. Okay. Okay, so I need to get <laughs> inside this building. Which... Yeah, well, it's through here. Oh. Go and get away. Okay. Yeah, it's through here. Elfsong Tavern. And we can start speaking with people. Oh, got some XP. For finding the tavern, apparently. Yeah. Now, let's see... Let's talk to Dura here. Dura Thumbfoot. Pardon me, sir. You look... prosperous. Hmm. I'll bet you have someone who'd like a nice piece of jewelry. A discount price for for a good cause. We're gonna get another quest. Oh, what's this good cause? Escape. Escape from Baldur's Gate for my husband and me. Lord Gortash wants Marek's head, so we have to get out. There's a smuggler's sloop leaving for Waterdeep with two birds left. But the captain wants a fortune for him. This necklace is all I have. Hmm, I think the situation here is about to turn around. You should probably stay. No, I'm sorry I can't help you. Keep your jewelry. Here's some gold. Or I'll buy the necklace for 2,000. 200, Jesus. Um, I don't know. To be honest, I would say, I would tell her to keep the jewelry. Okay. I don't know what to say. Except thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Now, where is she going? Well, mm -hmm, she's going out. And then she's gone. Well, we might, yeah, okay. we might encounter her. <clears throat> okay, should we speak to the bartender or something? I don't know. Okay. Alan. Alan Alice. Let's talk to Alan here. Hey, Alan. Hi, hi. Pull up a seat. If you can find one spare, that is. Business going well? With all this talk of war, what else are folk to do but drink? I reckon the murder we'd had something to do with it too. Got punters all intrigued. On that morbid note, what can I get your fine self? Mmm. Tell me more about the murder. <sighs> going to make this place famous, I reckon. Victim is a bloody duke. Berlin Stelman. Well, she was a duke. Now she's just bloody. I reckon I'll be able to charge double for that room once the constable's done with it. Murders and ghosts are always grand for business. At least, I hope. Why am I... Uh, I'm just I'm just noticing now that I'm barefoot. Hmm. <laughs> did, I, did I just sell my... Uh, oh, man. Possibly. Or donated them, at least. Yeah, I think I might have donated them. Damn it. Okay. Have you got anything to trade? It's been slim picking since the absolute butchered that supply convoy. But have a look. Yeah, nothing. He just sells booze. Okay. Fill your boots, mate. <coughs> I don't have any boots to fill. Yeah. That's the problem. <laughs> oh my god, I actually... Yes. You don't have any boots on you. I don't have any boots on me. Yeah, I definitely gave them away. It's because the whole, the, thi the, yeah, the, w when you donate, it just appears, uh, it's a, it's a window and it also includes the items that you have on oh, you, like, yeah. or that you, yeah. that's bad design, oh, well. that's not nice, yeah, so I'll have to buy some boots, okay, um, he was saying something about the room that the murder happened, in? Well, I'm guessing can, it's... Maybe we can rent it out for the night or something? Uh, I, I think we just need to get inside it. Uh, and it's either here in the corner or upstairs. 
Let me see what happens if I say, if I tell him that I need a place to stay. One second. Okay. Welcome back. What can I do you for? What can I do you for? Um, I'm looking for a place to stay. I tell you what. The murder upstairs has brought some punters, but it's also really spooked folk out of renting rooms. Uh huh. If we get you staying up there, perhaps there we go. Calm down. Yeah, so he he's about. willing to give me the room where the murder happens for only 200 gold. You can have the whole upstairs. Oh, the whole upstairs floor for 200. Okay, perhaps you uh, I could get a discount for the accommodation. <laughs> Charity in Baldur's Gate. Come on, give me a perception or whatever, not a percep a deception persuasion check. There we go. You want 200 gold to sleep next to a murder? Sorry. Oh, no, no, go, go, go ahead. No, persuasion is... Uh, I have a plus... 13? Yeah. I could go with the bard persuasion. Cut the price and I'll spread word of this place for miles around. That's yeah. what I was saying, but you have... The, on the other one, apparently, you have an advantage. On the bard one, you don't. Oh, because it's a situation... Of the, yeah, okay. Let's go with this one, the, the first one, where we have advantage. Let's add the bonus, and... Oh. No, 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 we're good. We're good, it's so much... Oh, it, it was before the... Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, buddy, give it to me for 50% off. Your voice down about the bloody murder upstairs. Mm. <clears throat> Top floor's all yours. If it gets a bit too noisy at night, well, don't sleep above a pub. Oh, it's free. That's it. Nice. Okay. 100% <laughs> discount. Yep. Okay. So, man, everybody's inspired, apparently. Okay, but, okay, there's a door here. So let's, what's this? Are you funny enough to cause a laugh riot? Come on in and challenge the house comedian. Ooh. <laughs> this, one, this one's for you. Go yeah, go. probably. You want me to open the door, basically, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, Harvard Willi Willoughby. Harvard Willoughby. That's an interesting name. Let me, let me just talk to these guys, see what they have to say before... Um, Look away. Act like you don't know me. Come on. Be a pal. What? I don't know you. Uh, I don't know. Fibs Brogan. Who is this guy? Get ready. I hear this guy is really good. My buddy Roanoke almost pissed himself laughing. This dwarf in the audience matches the description oh. of that serial killer. Great. He bears watching. What the hell are you staring Okay. I got spinach in my teeth. <clears throat> Ooh. Mm -hmm. Save it and go with uh... <laughs> Okay. No, no, nice doublet. That's all red. Is, it's nice. Is you, Your name is, isn't Dolor, is it? No. And it isn't Sucker or Patsy either. Whatever your con is, try it on someone okay. else. So it's not him or... I didn't get a check or anything. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's talk to the guy. To Harvard. Hey, smart stuff. I'm Willoughby, the comedian. And we got a little contest here called the Laugh Riot. You wanna play along? Of course. Uh, I'm a bard, Willoughby. Prepare to get served or I'll bite what's... Okay, first of all, uh, I'll bite. What's this Laugh Riot? It's all about the boffo yoks. We see you can tell the funniest stories, and the winner gets the prize. Mm. Okay, you're on. It's got to be better than killing rats. Hey, I'll go first to show you how it's done, and then you can see if you can top me. Mm -hmm. Hello, Bulgarians. You know, I wouldn't be here tonight, except my wife ran off with a cambium. That's right. <laughs> I got fiend zone. Wow. <laughs> we used Boo. to have a drow comedian. <laughs> I had to ask her to stop casting Tasha's hideous laughter on the audience. Then I asked her how many drow it takes to light a torch, and she said, none. We have dark vision. <laughs> so I killed her. What? The elf song patrons think that one's funny. 
There may be hope for you yet. <laughs> Your turn, smart stuff. Not <clears throat> dead, but not literally. Got me? Yeah, 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 yeah. Will it be the comedian, folks? <clears throat> were, were his jokes good or did he just smell funny? <laughs> <laughs> Say, what's the difference between a dwarf and a bullet? You can't toss the bullet. Okay. Hey, I asked my wizard to cast Shatter. He said, Shatter, I hardly know her. Know her. Shatter, I only... No. no Jesus. Very bad puns. Um, yeah, but you're going to do the persuasion check and or performance. Should I go with the first one and just roast him? Like, yeah, do like a go roast? Go. Okay, yeah. let's do that. Let's go with the Willoughby's, the comedian folks. <laughs> Got me with an ancient jest that's older than I am. Intimidation. What does what does you call a room full of people who don't applaud? Dead. <laughs> Jesus, okay. You know why I hate vampires? They just suck. Okay. I tried sleeping with the dragonborn the other night, uh, but it didn't work out. He had a reptile dysfunction. <laughs> okay. Ask the zombie reanimator out of date, but she out on a date, but she said she wasn't interested in necromance. Great. Should I go with the intimidation? I don't know. Try, try something else before. <laughs> okay. I tried sleeping with the dragonborn the other night. It didn't work out. I, he had a reptile dysfunction. <laughs> Win or lose, I'm stealing that one. Mm -hmm. Whoa. The dead three, am I right? What losers. You know why Bane worshippers will never conquer the world. They don't have the balls. That one's actually good. <laughs> A mind flayer's Durgar slave lost his nose, so I asked uh, the Elithid, how does he smell? And it said, I have eaten its brain. Okay, our cleric tried to cast healing word on on a ham, but it was already cured. Yeah, okay. I'll go with the first one. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see if... Uh... Ah, don't joke about religion, smart Oh. I don't think it... It might not matter what you. Cheers, whistles, and applause. Oh, no, most shocked. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, you're hilarious. Now get out of here before I lose my job. That was it. That was it. Yeah. Weird. Weird, right? Should I try to talk to this? Uh... Oh, let's talk to his kid. What's this kid here? <laughs> If I once dad mm -hmm. lost, uh -huh. maybe he can retire some of those jokes now. Though I do like the one about killing the drow. Weird kid, okay. Bibbs, do you want to have another chat? This guy was funny the other night. Of course, I had more to drink then. No. Okay, so... <clears throat> Fibs might be our killer. We don't know. What are you doing? I don't know, I'm looking around, but the... there has to be something, right? That's what I was thinking, yeah. Hmm. What's I'm... with the Fantasia? Who? The one... I'll talk to her. Yeah. The one that told you not to look at her as you know her. You're not really listening to Wasn't this the one? Mm -hmm. The lights are much more interesting. But you look closely at the young woman. Dilated pupils and palpitations. She's a silk root abuser. Okay. Hmm. Silk root is no joke. You should go home. It's not safe to be out and about like this. You're in the wrong place. Silk head. You're the kind belong in the back alleys. Have any for me? Do you want to... No. What? No. <laughs> I want to save. And then you choose what answer you want to or whatever I'll you want to tell her. go with the first one. <clears throat> no joke. Don't get all high and mighty with me. I hear the potion is jingling in your pack. Don't talk to me. Right. Let me try. Sure. <laughs> I don't think it'll matter, but sure. You're not really you look closely at the young woman. Dilated okay, have any for me? No, mate. I'm all out. Is that it? Okay. Oh, okay. uh, nothing in this whole room. You look closely at the second. Young woman. You're in the wrong place, Dilated Silkhead. Your uh, your your kind belongs in the back alleys. She's a silk root. <laughs> wow. 
And here I thought you looked like a nice one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, cool. Well, I think we'll, we'll have to go back in and see what. Uh, years. How do you get? Uh, one second. One second. Parvenu Gortash, an archduke. Mm. However, did they find a crown big enough for his head? Okay. How do we what? Uh, this the upstairs. It's the there's a there's a stair, right? Yeah. There's a set of stairs right here. Yeah. Hold up, this is a crime scene. Stone man's oh. A place to receive clients and I wonder if it's as I remember it. Mm -hmm. Well, let's uh, see. <clears throat> There's also a ladder that leads upstairs. Oh, I'm listening. Yep. Oh, bollocks! I told those idiots not to let anyone through. Mm-hmm. You, name, rank, and reason for interrupting an active crime scene. For your sake, the last one better be bloody good. She's hiding something. Okay, are you Devella? Valeria sent oh, me. She is. Yeah, she's the. Yeah. Uh, that's our adventure, curiosity. I'm no one, just an adventure. Why are you so angry? I'm lost. No, okay. Are you the villa? Valeria sent me. <clears throat> to fetch her another bottle of mead, no doubt. Yes, I'm de Vella, the unfortunate colleague. Unless you've got useful information, leave me to my work. Duke Stelman's dead, and I've got to find who killed her. Tell her about the murder target list you found. Was it an inspiring ball cultist by any chance? Mm -hmm. There's more at stake than Stillman's murder now that Ball himself is involved. Mm. We can either go with the first one or the second one, I guess. No? no? I, I, or I'm do you want to go the third? All of them. Okay, okay go, go, go. The second one. What is, was it an aspiring ball cultist? Ball? That's exactly what I. Wait. Mm -hmm. How do you know about that? Mm hmm. <laughs> Okay, never mind me. How do you know about Ball's resurgence? <laughs> okay, deception. I was just fear mongering for fun. Ball's not back. Everything is fine. No. Okay, so I'll tell her about the murder yep. target list. Yeah. God, that's it. Proof that I was right. I've been working on an assignment, see? A research project of sorts. Oh, I knew my conclusions were sound. But this, I never expected this. I'll tell you what I know. A century ago, there was a man, Saravok Anchev. He was a child of the god of murder, Baal. Mm. He ruled the Iron Throne, a dark tower hiding a darker secret. It was the front for a deadly arms dealing network. There, Saravok amassed an army and sought to become a god. Under his stewardship, the Baal Temple was revived, and with it, the Baal cult itself. Fortunately, the temple was destroyed, and to cleanse the city of Saravok's memory, the Iron Throne was torn from its foundations and cast into the Chiumthar. For most, that was the end of it. But cults like that don't disappear overnight. That list you spoke of confirms I'm right. The Baal cult is back. And someone is out there, continuing Saravok's work. Jesus, okay. Ball has a new uh, chosen in Baldur's Gate, Warren. I suspect she's behind this. Mm. What makes you think it's not Saravok himself? Any idea who it is? You said Saravok let the cult a century ago. He can still be alive, can he? You're absolutely right. I have reasons of my own to think there's been an increase in Ballist activity. You're not wrong about the cult. I found some Ballist in the sewers. <laughs> We did, yes. You could raise this with your superiors immediately. I would go with either the f first one. Okay. I'll tell her about Oren or yeah. with the uh, ones in the sewers. Yeah, yeah. Let's go Whichever with you want. We're not okay. wrong about the cult. No doubt you found a trail of bodies in their wake. The brutality of the killings is on a par with Saravok's own. But there's something more here. Something new. There's a reference to these murders, a certain flair. It's as if they were done in worship. Mm -hmm. The precision of the cuts, the depth, the execution. The best butchers in Faerun couldn't make a cut like that. Trust me, 
I've asked them. I tried to explain all this to my superiors, but they wouldn't have any of it. They told me to drop it. Told me the city doesn't need another conspiracy theorist and to get back to doing my job before they find someone else to do it for me. But you... You're not bound <laughs> by such constraints. Oh, help me out here. Help the city out. I bet if you follow the trail of these murders, you will be able to unearth the truth of this resurgence. That's the plan. <clears throat> in the meantime, what about the other victims on the list, the ones who are still alive? I'll do my best. I've got better things to do. Okay. Mm. What about the other victims? Yeah, yeah, the ones still alive. There are patriarchs on the murder target list. I'm oath-bound to secure them first, so I'll be heading to the upper city next. While I'm there, the other potential victims will be at risk. Could you warn them? <laughs> the flaming fist shouldn't Oof. be protecting you. I'm yeah. not just up to folk. I'll see what I can do. That's your job, not my problem. Let's do the first one. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> well. Not from round here, are you? We're in Boulder's Gate. This is just how things work. Okay. Yeah. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. That's all I can ask, and more than I hoped. Once I'm done with the Patriarchs, I'll head to Basilisk Gate to have another go at convincing my superiors to put some resources into this matter. Meet me there if you've anything more to report. And good luck. I think the Basilisk Gate is where we came in yeah. through, yeah. right? Yeah. Can we go inside the room though? Yeah, and there's something here on the floor. A bloody senior ring. Guess the killer didn't want the jewelry. Okay. Map notes, of on the, yeah. notes on the murder. Uh, crime scenes notes drafted by the villa. Deceased Duke Bellin Stelmain, location private room upstairs at Elfson Tavern. Cause of death, suspect blood loss. Observations, ritualistic killing, the right hand missing. Clean severance, likely before death. Mark of the absolute on the floor. Empty bottle, recently drained of contents, maybe poison. Motive, suspect ballist ritual, but won't tell Valeria that. Suspects, we don't know. Okay. I perceived something. Map what? of the city bears a single mark of the location of one murder site where the slain were arranged into grotesque. So I found a discarded where is it can i not pick it up now anymore what the hell hold on hold on discarded wine bottle strange bottle even stranger smell yeah well i can't that's the thing i can't take it okay we have an update find the victims on the ballast target list um just has to follow the people noted on the list save them if possible okay that's it Okay, I picked up the bottle. One second. Does it say anything? Just discarded wine bottle. A strong paralytic poison. Okay. okay. So she was paralyzed and then her hand was cut off and then she was left to bleed, I guess. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> okay. Okay, that's, that's probably... That's it here. Yeah, yeah, I think we need to, to go into the other rooms. Found anything in 